everyone. Shea Bear 1000 here, and I also have Monkey 1000. We're going. What are we making today? For um, walk, this is Walk Wednesday. What are we making? Chicken. What kind? Teriyaki. Yes, teriyaki chicken. Okay. Teriyaki so chicken, chicken. I got some stuff here. This is real easy. There's some stuff I'm going to be using that you normally don't use, but um, I'm not going to be making my own sauce. Because I'm going to save that and we'll show you how I make my sauce for when I do my ribs. Coming up in a day or two. Mm, so stick around. I can't wait. <laughs> mm. Stick around and <laughs> we'll get into this. Okay guys. So what I have here. I usually add like a bouillon cube. Uh, to give it a little extra flavor. Now, I, I went and broke up uh, two bouillon cubes in here, realizing after I did that that they're beef. We're having chicken. So, this is what I cut. I deboned. What we're using is, let's see, we're using six, six um, chicken thighs, and I've deboned them and cut off the excess fat. A couple of the skins came off, it's okay. So instead of using the boiling cube, I'm going to use this to make just kind of flavor the pan a little bit for when we do the chicken. And I'll show you about that here in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to take my chicken bones and my skin. Uh, I got this hot when it's when you start seeing very lightly seeing some smoke, you're ready. And I'm just going to throw it in here just like that. Move this out of the way. And see all the fat that's coming out that'll make nice so you use less oil so it's kind of more healthy for you so I'm just going to make just go ahead and stir fry this up just a little bit just enough to season that pan since I don't have any bouillon cubes see that's fat but it's okay to use for this. You don't have to do this. In fact, you don't have to use a wok. Most people use a skillet, but it's Walk Wednesday, so we're walking. We're, 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 we're okay, monkey. Say we're walking. Okay. We're so, doing the walk. Yes, we're doing the walk. Now I'm gonna turn that down to about six. Let's say about medium, so it doesn't stick right away. Now. While this is doing that, I think Monkey can stir this for me. We're going to marinate our chicken. So here you go, Monk. Now let me get you set up for that. Okay, while well, Monkey's stirring that, huh? You can smell it? Okay, that's good. While well, Monkey's making that, this is just uh, teriyaki sauce. You can make your own sauce out of uh, a light soy, which like I said, I will show you that when I make my ribs. I'm going to put them on the barbecue. <laughs> it's supposed to be nice in the next couple of days. So what I'm going to do, we got a lot more chicken than usual. So I'm going to use not quite a half a cup, but close to it. Then I'm going to use some wine, and I'm just going to I'm just guesstimating this, guys. But normally, what you would use, you would be you would use uh, rice wine. But see, that's already in this. But I'm just going to use regular wine for just a little bit more more of a flavor. And, oh crap. Keep stirring, Monk. <laughs> She's over here trying not, well, she is laughing actually. Oh no, break your teeth. Let me help you. Well, that's the way the no. pirates used to do it. It must have swelled up. Oh no. Where's the cork thing? Use the cork thing. Cork thing. How long does this stay going? Keep going. Okay. 
I, I don't know why that did that. Okay, so. Where was I? Now. Putting the wine See, there. it's not quite a half a cup. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this up to a little bit more than a half a cup. I like that there. I'm going to kind of mix this up a little bit. And this is what we're going to marinate our chicken in. Okay. Now we're just going to dump this over our chicken. Just like that. Okay. Now. Easy killer. All right. Now we're just, use your hands. You can put gloves on if you want. I know a lot of people. You shouldn't use your hand when you're dealing with meat. Well, oh, whatever. I've seen my grandma do it for many years. I've done it. Sorry, I don't like the plastic glove in there. Okay, so, now this is pretty well. See, some of the skin's going to come off. By the way, you can take the skin off, leave it on. It doesn't really matter. Um, like I said, we're just going to use a wok. Uh, like I said, I, I did... I did debone them and fillet them. In order to do that, just cut your bone out as close as you can to the bone. And then. A package for Marty's order, placed on February 11th, should arrive tomorrow. Containing cancer. <laughs> that needs her help? Yes. Thank you. Thanks for your feedback. Okay, so, well, now that you guys know what a video is coming out. <laughs> so, anyway. The lowest part, just kind of make your your like your highest part, just kind of go to 45 degree angle. Cut, don't cut all the way through. Just cut down a little bit and then flip it open. Just kind of like filleting a fish. But so we're gonna leave this set for a couple minutes. I'm gonna wash my hands and then we're gonna start on our chicken. Okay, so this is what we're using for ginger because for some reason we're having trouble finding peppers fresh ginger so she got me the paste All right mama yep fresh for weeks okay so I'm just going to use about a half a teaspoon you don't have to measure any of this if you don't like ginger you don't have to use it I thought that was a hair I was gonna freak out okay now I'm just going to throw this in here and give it a stir All right, now I need my comb Woo. Alright, let's let this cool down a minute. Alright, hang on, let me cool let me get this cooled down. Okay, all I did was take it off the heat for a second. Now we're gonna start adding our our chicken in. I'm only gonna do like four pieces at a time. Like I say, you normally you do it in a skillet, but I did turn the fire down. All right, I'm gonna let that cook until it starts browning real good underneath. It'll like actually like caramelize. Now I went ahead and turned it back up to about medium. All right, and all that stuff you seen in there that was from from the chicken skin, from the fat of the chicken. So you don't have to add oil, less oil. All right, so let's go ahead and when I get ready to turn this, I'll kick you back on. Okay, so we're going to turn these. See how nice and brown that got? It's like caramelized. See that? How nice. I want them both to be kind of dark. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep cooking these up. Once I once these get done, I'll put them in this pan so I can keep them warm in this pan. Because I'm going to make noodles, which you don't have to do. This is just an extra step I'm doing. I'll show you how I'm going to stir fry my noodles, and I'll show you what I use. But this is pretty much it. Once you do this, it'll be in a skillet. Once you do this, once you get all your chicken where you want, you'll, you'll take your leftover marinade and add in with it and simmer it for a couple minutes. So let me get on with this, and I'll come back to you and show you what we've got. Okay, so this is what you want to end up with. I did pour some rest of this in there, but I saved this much for my noodles, which I'll show you what I'm going to do with them. You don't have to. This will be done 
I don't know, give it five or ten minutes. Simmer it, okay? So um, then this will be done. Put it on, on a bed of rice. You can put it on noodles, or you can just put it on a plate, eat it. Uh, you can also put them in wraps, and you can um, put them on bread, make sandwiches. Now, um, I've got to tell you, once once I deboned them and filleted them, I cut them in half. So you'll get double. So if you make six, you have 12 pieces. So, all right. So I'm going to shut that off for a second. I'm going to put this over here. So if that's all you needed to know, you can turn the video off now. But if you want to check this out, that'd be great too. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of wine in here. Just to kind of swirl that, thank you monkey. Swirl that around a little bit. Put that in there. So those are gonna simmer on a low, medium low, somewhere right in there. And Justin Parker just uploaded a video. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, hi Justin. So, all right, now what I'm gonna do first I got some of these peppers I'm going to throw in here. Just like that, and we'll cook them up. Now, just going to kind of stir these up. You don't want them to get too soggy. What kind of peppers are these, Monk? Oh, I don't remember the name. I don't either. It was a very long name. We've been trying to get chili peppers and we have not been able to get them anywhere. No. So we asked the guy and this guy gave me this pepper. He said, try this. It's about the closest thing we've got. Okay. Like I said, this is for the noodles. It has nothing to do with that. You can add it in with your chicken if you want, but... This is just for my noodles, so I gotta get this heated up a little bit. So I'm gonna let that cook for about another two minutes, we'll say. Okay, that was actually about a minute and a half. Now we're gonna add our noodles and stir fry these for, uh, they say about 30 seconds, but you can go a little longer if you want. Now what I'm gonna do with these noodles is, I'm going to add some soy sauce to these noodles instead of teriyaki. So, uh, I'd say, you know, about two tablespoons maybe. And then just, whoops, throw it all over your stove. You will make sure you do that so your wife gets very happy with you. <laughs> now what you can also do if you're making noodles like this or onions, uh, you can also use some... Uh, some of your, your stuff out of your chicken that's been over here simmering so there and that's pretty much it I'm going to go ahead and let these cook for oh probably 30 more seconds maybe a minute just to get them flavors off the bottom I can go ahead and turn this off now monkey's making her rice kicking the dog into the bedroom <laughs> uh, but I think they're going to have rice and I'm going to, oh, I wanted to show you what noodles I used. Just use these. Where'd you get these at, Monk? Walmart, wasn't it? No, Winn-Dixie. Winn-Dixie, how much were they? Two forty-three. Like these are just wide lo mein noodles. You can use any kind of noodles you want. Doesn't matter. It's, 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 it's all up to you. Like I said many times before, I'm not a real chef. Don't want to be, but I enjoy this. So, um, if it's your recipe, you make it how you want it. You substitute whatever. Like I say, you don't have to use ginger if you don't want. So, when her when her rice is done, I'll go ahead and I'll get some of this plated up. And I'll show you what it looks like and I'll tell you what it tastes like. Yes. Huh? Looks good. <laughs> okay. So, stick around, guys. I'm glad you got pants on. Because. <laughs> <laughs>
Sometimes when we're sitting there, we're in our underwear. No, but but she, she said because she came out to cook with me. I'm gonna add a little bit of wine to this, and uh, she said, "Can I be naked?" I'm like, "Yeah, sure." A few minutes later, she's like, "Are you ready?" She had a t-shirt, well, a tank top on, and her underwear. I said, oh, you were serious about that? She said, well, you're not going to show me from the waist up. <laughs> so, all right, one more quick story. Turn that up a little bit. Uh, about my peppers I grew in the garden. The peppers that we cannot find now anywhere. <laughs> um, so, one day I was like, where's my peppers at? She was like, what peppers? I said, the peppers I grew in my garden. She said, Oh, those were all dried up and shriveled. I was like, oh my God, they're supposed to be because I was going to make this out of them. <laughs> and she threw them away because they were dried up and shriveled. They look really bad. That, I said, that's why they're called dried peppers. She said, well, look, I got your crushed red peppers in here. So she threw out homegrown red peppers <laughs> that was already dried, ready to be crushed, and bought me pretty much the same thing. So anyway... I'll call that a fun fact because that is funny. All right, these are probably uh, done now. Uh, I think I'll check the chicken. They should be done. We'll get some of this plated up for you. And here's what they look like plated up. She's got hers on a bit of rice. She decided to have some noodles. And her mom, your mom got noodles too, right? Yep. And I just got mine on... Uh, just on, on a bed of noodles. So we're gonna try these out. Let me get you up here. We'll see the look on her face when she tastes all that salt I put in by accident. <laughs> yeah, I made uh, I made my daughter, I'm gonna get some of these noodles with this piece of chicken. Some Kool-Aid one time with a cup of salt instead of Instead of sugar, she was only four, but if she had a weapon, I'm sure she would have probably used it. Mm -hmm. right. I lost my rice. Dinky donk. Dinky donky donk. Right, here we go. Whoops. There we go. Ready? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It tastes similar to the chicken cacciatore I made. Mm hmm. Did I film that? No. Hmm. I'll have to do that. I will be filming the uh, ribs mm. on my homemade barbecue. Oh, that's good. You like that? Mm hmm. The last time the chicken was a little dry. I'm not sure yeah. why. I don't know either. Uh, well, the first time I used the wok, I, I made chicken, but some for some reason it got dry. Didn't you leave it on the bone? I think you left it on the bone. I think. Mmm. Mm. This time you took it off. Yeah, it tastes good. Very good. Subtle, yet flavorful. Like I said, um, when you guys watch my rib video, when I make the, the uh, teriyaki sauce, which I'll be making it with some soy sauce, um, use that in this recipe always anytime you can make something homemade but like I said that's why I said if that's all you was interested in was that's why I told the other people to go and shut it off because you know 15 20 minutes tops mm -hmm. uh, but with the noodles and everything huh. was about 25 minutes yeah. um, those noodles all you do is uh, put them in boiling water I broke them in half because I figured they would want some <laughs> So, I like those noodles. So yeah, nice. um, all you do is put them in boiling water, boil for four minutes, run them under cold water, rinse them off, mm -hmm. and stir fry them for 30 seconds. I did like a minute, minute and a half. Uh, that's because I had the uh, the peppers in it. I really wanted to get that flavor, and these noodles are awesome. I really like them. Yeah, they really soak up the flavor. Really and I well. found them in the oriental section, so they weren't with the spaghetti noodles. No, so they'd be... Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it did turn out 
pretty good. And like I said, you don't have to put them on noodles or rice. You just put them on a on a bun, like a hoagie bun. Mm -hmm. The chicken, or yeah. you can just eat it just plain if yeah. you want. Do whatever you want. Yeah, it turned out really, really well. Um, a lot of times, you know, when you cook like this, it'll things will dry up on you, but. Uh, no, this, this, this had flavor and it's moist. Very good. Yeah. It was very tender. It's, it's good. Yeah, it's and I, I use no oil. That oil that you seen in there was from the um, right there, chicken. from the uh, chicken skin and chicken mm -hmm. bones. Like I said, if you if you don't use them, freeze them, and then next time you want to make something that takes chicken broth, why go buy it? All you right. boil that up. And it's water, so much better. and add add a little bit of seasoning, and you got your you got your uh, your chicken stock for chicken noodle soup or, or whatever you want, or whatever you put you want to put your chicken stock in. Mm -hmm. Same way with beef, you know. Uh, got any bones? Freeze them, you know, right on them, you know what what they are and the date and whatnot, and use it for beef beef stock. Mm -hmm. and then it's it's still kind of fresh. I mean, I understand it's frozen, but it's still you know. Homemade. Yeah. So what do you think, Monk? Okay? Yep. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up? Yep. I'm gonna go two thumbs up. I'm gonna give it a three out of five. Mm. I'll go now, I'll go three and a half out of five. What do you give it? Oh, you're being tough. I'm tough on myself, like I said, I'm honest. Yeah. Well I like I'm trying to see what one's my best now. Okay, but what's this one while you're thinking about that? I'd say three. Three out of five. Mm -hmm. Boy, you're tough. No. <laughs> so yeah, it's about three out of five. Um, I, I, if I would have had my beef bouillon or my see my or chicken, chicken bouillon, bouillon, I would have uh, that would have been even better. Or if I made some broth out of that. Mm -hmm. But so, what's your favorite so far? The beef tips. The beef tips. Beef Did tips. I film those? Yes. Okay, so this would be the last one then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, they were really good. Yeah. So we're gonna try to do this once a week. We won't hit every Wednesday, but we'll, you know, because I gotta cook anyway. But the days we we that we, that I don't do a walk Wednesday will be, you know, like a day we just decide to eat out or something or order in. But so, but yeah, I mean, um, like I said, you don't have to use a walk. You don't have to get fancy. You know. Hmm. But that's all but you gotta do. It's fun using the walk. So yeah, that, yeah, that's all you gotta do. Monkey, monkey likes using that walk. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Monkey says <laughs> by y'all. Out loud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> out loud. It's the wine. She... <laughs> by the way, guys. Yeah. <laughs> speaking of that, if <laughs> if you're a recovering alcoholic. Which is no no fun and it's not trying to be funny, but or if you if you you know religious beliefs or whatever um, do not permit you to have alcohol. Um, the alcohol does cook out of that, but if you are a recovering alcoholic, it might not be a good idea to have a bottle of wine, even though the alcohol cooks out because yeah. you might drink more. But then you don't really have to put but it seriously your it's kids nice to have what it. i can say is your your kids can can eat this because alcohol does cook out I had trouble about oh my gosh what was it 10 12 years ago i made beer burgers <laughs> oh yeah yeah and one of my exes i don't know who it was was pissed off at me and oh, said and called cool. children's services on me and said i was giving my child beer and I had explained to him that, yeah, I do put beer in the burgers, you know, and so anyway, they didn't believe it, so finally they did do some checking and found out that it does cook out, so hang on, guys. Okay, so somebody stopping to look check on the Corvette because, you know, we got it up for sale. For some reason, she thinks it's weird, but... <laughs> You got something for sale? Ain't that weird? Somebody stopped to ask the person. No, it's not that. So anyway, like I was saying, uh, you know, they didn't believe me at first, and they're like, "Well, we'll get back with you and all that." And I gave it about a week and didn't hear anything. And I called them. They're like, "No, you you were right. Alcohol does cook out." I said, "I told you. Why didn't you get back with me?" You know. Mm -hmm. And they was like, "Oh, we've been busy and blah blah blah." It was just a real pain in the gigi for it because mm -hmm. 
But anyway, yeah. So anyway, if you're worried about the alcohol content, it, it alcohol cooks out. It evaporates. It just gives it a little. It flavor. gives it flavor. That's all. It the does. wine will give it flavor, but the alcohol does cook it. Now you can use Coca-Cola, Seven Up, Sprite, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Really makes these dishes good too. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Shea Bear the Myth, the Man of Legend. Gone for now again. Mike says she's out. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Check her channel out, and we'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> bye, bye, guys. Take care. Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here and Monkey 1000. She's gonna be helping me today. We're gonna be making teriyaki chicken, so that should be good. So the first thing we're gonna do is I've got what am I doing? 